Colleagues, science is and must continue to be our foundation for action under the Paris Agreement. Indeed, the entire climate agenda is ultimately based on its insights and guidance. And just as climate change impacts almost all our sustainable development goals, so too do levels of science and science literacy. The evidence on climate change is unassailable. The latest IPCC report was clear that global warming of 1.5 degrees or even 2 degrees will be exceeded during the 21st century unless deep reductions in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions occur in the coming decades. With temperatures already having risen more than 1 degree Celsius since pre-industrial times, and every fraction of a fraction of a degree makes these impacts exponentially worse, threatening people, their livelihoods, their economies, and our collective future. It must be a guide to all of us, because whatever our beliefs or political leanings, it is the most accurate picture we have of climate reality. We can discuss what actions are appropriate in the face of climate change, but not what facts are acceptable. This is where the matter of science literacy becomes so important. Never has it been so critical for the well-being of humanity that we share as widely as possible the findings of science. I said earlier that the science on climate change is both absolute and unassailable. It is more imperative than ever that we share this knowledge, this truth, in a way that is clear, easy to understand and relevant for all people. But if science information is to truly make a difference, if it is to truly spur action, people must do more than simply understand it. They must be able to relate to it. By using language that is scientifically accurate, but honest, clear, and unequivocal. Here again, this is where we need the help of scientists. We need their assistance translating scientific language into words that everybody, at all ages and regardless of their education level, can understand. We must present the facts state the urgency and provide clear evidence about why change is necessary at all levels by all people. Yes, it is challenging. But in the final analysis, the question is whether we will be able to turn scientific findings into public policies from governments who must come to grips with the truth of climate science and who must understand its implications for their own citizens and make the right decisions accordingly. The process of raising the science literacy rate, especially among young people, those who are the ultimate long-term stakeholders in the climate change process, will take time. It won't be easy. Nothing this complex ever is. For our part, at UN Climate Change, science will continue to be our bedrock in helping develop strategies and recommendations for assisting governments in their climate action decisions. Not only do we need to build our future based on science, but we must also continue to support our climate scientists by, among other things, encouraging the engagement of decision makers to connect with the science as they advise their own governments. I believe we can rise to the enormous challenge of our times, this pivotal point in history, and achieve success for not just our present ge generation, but for all generations to come. And it is science and science literacy that must guide us along the way. Thank you.